Hello, this is Robert Monikian. I'm continuing installation of Oracle RAC 10G Release 2 using VMware on CentOS 4. Uh, last session, we created five disks and we'll continue manipulating those disks. Before actually um, we, s we continue, we need to change um, the VMware configuration file to reflect these few lines um, this will help our ASM uh, to be able to be accessed from both servers. Um, the SCSI disks were created from here onwards. So it's a good place to paste that. And let's minimize this. And the documentation suggests the uh, shared parts to be virtual. In here, there's a none. Let's change that to virtual 2. Save and get back to our console and start our machine. Um, actually, this is a really good place to do a to do a backup. I'm going to stop this and do a backup. Uh, I'll do a tar CDF set, so call it a backup tar.gz or backbone. Okay, what it will do, it will pick up these two directories and put it into a zip. Oh, I spelled it. That's not correct. And we know for sure is a tar file. I was more concerned about uh, the directory name than actually the backup. I usually do the back of it scripting. Um, in that way, I'll never have a typo while I'm. If there is a typo, I can catch, like I did there. But um, scripts are always better. But in real environment, you will have a sand and you do a snapshot. Snapshot takes about a few seconds versus a um, minute or so, or maybe even longer. Because I've never done a backup on this, so I'm not quite sure how long it will take. So, saying that, I will pause and come back once the backup is finished. Okay, the backup is finished. And we have a um, nice tar file and zipped as well. Let's go back to our machine, start it up again. And continue our install. And once the machine comes up, we'll F-disk the raw devices for our ASM and we'll be almost there to be able to start with um, cluster install. Not much happening, we're just waiting for the machine to come up. It should be up pretty soon. But this is nice to see we have all the disks there. 
everything is up and running. Go ahead and configure the SCSI. I just discovered that it's got new hard disk, so so here it's we should be able to I will I will I will pause this screen because this is just ridiculous sitting here and watching paint dry. I'll come back once we can actually do some interaction with this. Okay, here we go. There was some issue with time server starting. I suspect there could be some some issues with our machine. But I will investigate it. Um, is up and running. Let's get a new keyboard. <laughs> I might do that. Go after these and get a new keyboard because this is ridiculous. I type and it doesn't appear. I type and it appears too much. Anyway, let's start uh, our browser. Start up terminal and log in as root. And we get the new files we have got there. So we created a um, B C D. E and F, uh, SDA, SDA1, SDA2, RR, existing file. Um, oh, there is some, there is something happening underneath. Let's. It seems Firefox not connecting. Actually, it could be. Have any connection? That's what I suspected. Let's restart a networking. I think that will resolve lots of issues. If you have some time, we can have a look at the uh, messages file and see exactly. Okay. Let's get our documentation. Let's see if we call rack TG. We have done that. We have verified that everything is there. I see the time is pushing on. I will stop. This is a good place actually to stop, otherwise, I will run out of time. Um, I will start F disking and everything else on the next session. This is Robert Malikian installing Oracle Rack 10G Release 2 on CentOS 4. See you in the next one. Okay, bye.